Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It is Monday today and uh, Super Bowl Sunday yesterday. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. Uh, we'll talk about that after today's bag. So today's bag is a vintage fossil. Now, this bag is, I'm, I was going to say it's nothing special, but that all my bags are special. This is a bag that you still see quite regularly out there in the wild, but I don't see this color very often. So this is kind of like a burnt orange leather shoulder bag, crossbody bag. I love the uh, fabric, the cotton on the underside of the strap. For me, I have no shoulders. So this, if I am ever going to attempt to use a shoulder bag, it would be um, with this because it just gives it a little bit of grip. But um, yeah, I really, the, the color got me on this bag. Now, there is a little bit of wear and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. There's just a little bit of irregularities in the leather. Yeah, you can't even really see it. There's just a couple of little spots of lightning. But there is also a few little spots of darkening. More so up top here where this hardware rubs. Now, I have recolored. Um, I didn't go crazy with it because if if you have been following me lately, you've been hearing me say that I'm really attempting to just, uh, I don't want to put the bags back to perfect because then why are you buying a vintage bag? I just want to, you know, lessen it. I don't want to take the, the discoloration away completely, but I made it better and, um, yeah, I just, I kind of had a little bit of a moment recently where I thought, you know, I'm trying to make these bags like new. And if you wanted a new bag, you'd go and buy a new bag. So I kind of checked myself a little bit and said, you know, these bags are vintage. They are, you know, they're allowed to show their age. They're allowed to show their, their wear. Um, obviously, I mean, we don't want any rips and tears and all that kind of thing. So there's a little bit of darkening there as well. Um, just, you know, I just kind of forgot where I was for a minute and what it was I was actually uh, presenting to you. And I thought, you know what, these bags are vintage and they should be allowed to be vintage. So that is today's bag. So, um, yeah, weekend kind of came and went, uh, spent some time with some girlfriends yesterday and uh, watched the Super Bowl last night at Rosie's. Had a little bit too much wine, so I'm paying for that today. But uh, hey, I think uh, I think that could be the, uh, the 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 wine days gone for a while. Um, yeah, just not a good not a good thing to be doing in uh, present circumstances at the moment. So anyway, had uh, had a good time, saw some faces that I haven't seen in a long time. And um, yeah, I, I don't follow football. I had no allegiance to either team. So I guess Taylor Swift is happy that Kansas won. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I uh, did my, well, I kind of did my chores. The chores that I gave myself last uh, Thursday, Friday were, were kind of chores that I had really already done to some extent because we're constantly um, re-purging and going through areas of the house that, um, you know, we've stored stuff or, or whatever because some of this stuff, you know, it's, we're using it. Like I've got uh, storage shelving in the uh, furnace room, which is what my chore was on Thursday, I think, was to go through the shelves. And I mean, it is what it is. It's, you know, shower, gel, laundry soap, like, you know, I mean, that stuff's not going to go until we use it up. So eh, I had a quick look to see if there was anything that I could get rid of. And no, there's nothing really there. I thought maybe I could console, excuse me, consolidate some shelving. But there really wasn't much to do there. So I will pick today's chore. I'm with my clients today. I will be leaving in a couple of hours. So this will give me some time. 
to do today's chore, whatever it is. I hope it isn't anything uh, too involved because I'm not feeling like it today, I can tell you. Living room coffee table. Yeah, I could do that. It's funny, there's like a line down the center of the coffee table, basically, because I'm constantly working on my bag. So I've got, you know, my saddle soap and my sponge. I've got my leather better. I've got all kinds of glasses. I've got my notebook for when I need to put a uh, address in the, in the States. It's just like blank lens half. <laughs> so I could definitely go through that. And that won't be, uh, that won't be a heavy duty chore for today. That's for sure. So that is about it for today. Uh, shop at the shed on Friday. I sold the Tory Birch, uh, bag, which I wasn't surprised about. Um, so we will see you on Thursday for uh, Shop at the Shed. If you are interested in looking at uh, bags that are not vintage, then um, leatherbaglady.com is my website. And there are bags listed there at this moment in time. Um, you know, check it out. If, if you want to just see some more bags, then uh, join me Thursday and Friday night. I share five items each episode. And, um, yeah, just explain them, talk about them. If I know a little bit of history, I will share that with you. And, uh, yeah, it's about 20 minutes, not even. So, anyway, everybody, that's it for me for today. Have a great rest of the day. It is a chilly day. It's cold in here. So I'm going to get my bits and pieces done, and then I'm heading back into the house. I don't know why it's so cold in here. It's been colder outside and warmer in here. I don't know. I'm feeling the cold a lot lately. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Something's going on, but I'm not quite sure what it is. I had a hot flash yesterday morning, and that was the first one I've had in probably four or five weeks. So I don't know. Something's going on. Just uh, the life of a menopausal woman, I guess. It's, uh, it's a scary place sometimes. <laughs> anyway, everybody, have a great rest of the day. Bye.